Welcome back. In the previous video, we looked at how Jodi got started by defining the scope of a process, adding an activity for each step, and how to ensure process integrity. In this video, we'll look at how she'll create a process using TIBCO Cloud Nimbus. Jodi, as a process author, will collaborate with subject matter experts to capture all the process steps required to meet the scope definition. The activities are then linked to create a process flow and enriched with all the supporting information. A process is created in the process designer. The areas of interest are the canvas, the drawing tools and the properties panel. Additional functions are available here such as the zoom, full screen view and ID numbering options. To start with, let's look at activities. Activities are added to the canvas by selecting the Activity Tool icon from the Drawing Tools menu. Text is added using a verb and noun format, for example, do this to that. Once you have captured all the activity steps, they can be dragged and dropped into the correct order. Next, link the activities by adding the flow lines. Select the Flow Line Tool icon from the Drawing Tools menu and drag and drop the line from inside one activity to the next, and then add your text. Remember that the output from one activity forms the input for the next activity. Resources are selected from the Resources Library in the Properties panel. Drag and drop the resource onto the activity. If a resource does not already exist in the library, you can create and add one from within the Properties panel. Drill downs to lower level diagrams give more details on how to complete an activity. Notice that the child diagram will have a predefined scope by inheriting the input and output flowline text from the parent. And the diagram name will be the name of the parent activity. To navigate back up, select the Go to Parent Diagram icon. Related documents and links are added from the document registry in the Properties panel. Simply drag and drop the link onto the activity. URLs and files can be added to the document registry from within the Properties panel. In summary, add activities and reorder them to meet the scope definition. Link the activities using flow lines and add all the activity resources. And finally, enrich activities by adding documents and creating drill downs to lower level diagrams to cover a particular process step in more detail. The next video in this series demonstrates how to govern a process. Thanks for watching.